Alright, now I guess we run. Alright. Okay, didn't get me yet. Whoa, 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 No, 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 no. That's not what we wanted to do. No, no, don't destroy my cover. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm coming for you, thing. I'm coming. I don't know how or why, but I am. Eh. I got you. Come on, Jesse. You can do it. Floppy disk nuke can be bound to gain launch telekinesis. Yes! Teach us to believe, director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, grab and launch. Yes. Give that to me, give that to me, all of this. I have the power of telekinesis and I will use it to your disadvantage. Amazing. This is just awesome. Are there any enemies here that I can launch? <gasps> Can I force unleash them? Launch a line the cube. Sing them up. What? Into the hold slot to advance. Oh. Alright. I'm guessing that was the right thing to do. I have telekinesis powers. Oh my god, this game is awesome. Yes! Enemies! Bow before me. Ability gift burden. I don't think this is a burden. At least not to me. Bye. This is just fun. I mean, I can... I can do this. The hiss noise is burrowing into our astral plane secret base. You must stop mute them, director. I will try. I don't know why. Even though I am no one's director, apparently. At least that's what Jesse says. The floppy disk is now bound, delivered. The Hiss antagonist is seeking our astral plane. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me. <laughs> well, dude, bye bye. Oh, okay. This is the most fun I, ha I have had with a game in a long time. Oh my god, this is so cool. I can just launch things at them now. <laughs> I saw another one. Where'd you go? Oh, another bad guy. Where'd you go? Disappeared. <gasps> I have to look at these. Ah! Ow. That hurt, dude. I have telekinesis. Woohoo! Whoops. You really didn't hurt yourself. That was impressive. Jesse, you are an amazing player character. I love you a lot. Ah! All right, this opened up now. Hey. 
Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. Reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to... So another AWE behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring and for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we are in the clear. Tomasi out. So I'm guessing Tomasi is then some sort of communications person that handles... This kind of stuff when something gets out into the public. Oh, what this? <gasps> this must open the door. Ugh. Um, sorry, dude. But you don't need to start glitching now. So finally I have clearance level one. Oh, this is the mail room. I don't want to go in there yet. Oh. More toilets. Can't see a thing. But I was still in here. And that's the main thing. Why is it so dark in here? Stop being so dark. Oh no. How do I get out? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh god. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, found myself under the bed, stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. <sighs> there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. It was a pretty cool story. Not gonna lie. Then let's go to the main room, finally. Let's see what the hell is up in here. Um, no. They can fly now. Oh, Great. that's Tomasi. Oh, okay. Ah! Ah! 
Ow, ow. Uh, uh, uh. I want health. Give me health. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ow. Give me your health! Oh god. I'm almost dead. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. They can fly now. <laughs> Great. Almost got it. Just need to be patient. And I'm gonna punch you. Oh, yeah, nice. No, don't, don't go. Stay. Hey, that's not fair. a feeling he'll be back that wasn't fair I almost focused. defeated you the hotline should be past the mailroom okay then let's go to the hotline chamber this it Event summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butt, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at, which had been connected to a total of disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house days, days later, found in sealed room by rangers exploring the new area of the house. The light switch cord in the butt home's closet disappeared during this incident. Huh. Alberto T oh Tomasi well done everyone it was a strong campaign and perfectly executed Tomasi head of comms that's what I thought yes, got him. yep because he's floating now and I don't think that's normal the hotline can't be far now oh all right so and what's this then all right take this down the situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all tonight and we show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> yeah, he was a nice guy, huh? A very nice dude, that Tomasi. Details. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. 
After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butt have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butt home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, Light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the end sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is... But initial hypotheses center on the but A-W-E-S-A. Okay, so they... The rearranging the house was not part of the original design, it was forced upon it by some A-W-E. That's interesting. Okay, we are almost there. Hotline security log. Okay, this is just who called. Okay. Oh god, high trench. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Then let's do it. Whoa. Okay, I'm guessing I should not mind the gap. Funny. How do I? been here before? No. What the? I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. 